Hi, this is Brian Jones from eLearningArt.com. Today I'm going to show you some of my favorite PowerPoint shortcuts and also give you a uh, free cheat sheet job aid with the list of all of these. So you uh, don't actually need to be taking notes here. You can uh, just print out the cheat sheet. I'll provide um, a link to it in the comments section of, uh, of this video. So this is what the, um, the cheat sheet will look like. It's a very small thumbnail here. You'll see it's just a one page that has all of the shortcuts on it. And again, I'll post it in the screen notes. And you can also get it from the elearningart.com homepage. Just click on Tools. Uh, we'll put it there as well. All right, here's a page where I actually have um, most of the, the shortcuts here. And, and there's a bunch that you already know, copy and paste. And I'm not going to go over those. But I want to highlight um, some of these other ones you may not have seen before and uh, give you an example and why it is that I, that I like it. Um, let's start actually here. The the slideshow current slide. Um, I like that a lot um, because I want to preview what my slide was. If I have, especially if I have animations or anything like that on the screen, to see what the actual user is going to see. Or if I have things that are running off the screen, it, it gives me the, a good perspective. So all I do is Shift F5, and you'll see it pulled that screen up. Another really useful thing is the copy format. So you know copy and paste. Well, actually, if you just, instead of just Control, you do Control shift uh, c and Control shift v it'll pull the format from one object to another. So uh, Control shift c and you'll see if I go here, Control shift v it actually pulled that formatting right over there. Um, that's a really nice, uh, uh, nice shortcut. Um, a few other things. Um, Sometimes you want to keep the aspect ratio. So you have this here, and you, you know you this is exactly the aspect ratio you'd like. If you hold Shift, it'll lock the aspect ratio as you're um, increasing or decreasing the size. Um, I use that all the time. Um, another thing is when I'm duplicating, um, you can do Control-D to duplicate, which I do a lot. But sometimes you just want to hold Control, and you'll see it changes to a plus. And now I just drag, and I have a new object here. Control, drag, boom. Uh, that's, a, that's a handy one. Um, uh, control Y. You may know uh, when you uh, undo something, Control Z, um, you could also redo what you did. Well, actually, you can repeat what your last action was. And sometimes I find it really frustrating working with tables. Uh, let me scroll over here. So maybe I have inserted, I've inserted a row, um, and I'm just trying to, you know, figure out what my layout's going to be. So I've inserted that row. I decided, you know what, I really want one more. Instead of having to right click and select the whole thing again, if I just control Y, it'll redo my last action, which was to insert a row. So I can keep control Y, and it'll just keep doing what my last action was. Um, grouping is also something that I, that I use a lot. If I wanted to group these two things together, I can just highlight them both. And control G, now they're a single grouped object. Uh, that's a useful thing um, as well. And then uh, the same thing to ungroup it. You're going to uh, control shift and then G, and it'll ungroup them. Um, that's really nice when you're working with clip art or something like that, trying to ungroup your clip art. Um, text alignment. Uh, text and alignment, sorry. Um, sometimes you're trying to move an object. Let's say I'm trying to move this you know, a little closer to the, to the box here, and I move it. And it goes over, and you know I really want something halfway. If I hold Control, it does just a teeny little nudge. So it's about you know three little clicks to one big one. So let me show you again. This is a big one. This is little, little, little. Um, I find that really useful. Um, one of the other things that um, that I had on that splash screen was increasing and decreasing the size of a font. So maybe you have this text box or your text on a box, and you're trying to figure out what the right size is to fill it up. Well, if you Control Shift and then that uh, that right caret, it'll increase it, and the left will decrease it. So a lot of times when I'm formatting things, instead of having to go play with the font um, up top on the on the home um, tab. I can just uh, I can just you know increase and decrease font until it's filling it to the size that I want. Um, one other thing, especially when I'm dealing with uh, building scenarios where I'm hyperlinking from one slide to another, is to not have to go right click hyperlink. Um, just Control K uh, will do the hyperlink. So Control K pulls up the hyperlink screen, and you can select. You know, I, I'm often doing it from. Um, place in this document um, to, to build in any e learning but anyways um, those are just a few of the highlights you can download this for free and again I'll put the link up on the home page uh, under tools and also in the, the notes here hope you found that useful thanks